What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zay. In today's video, it's gonna be a little special and a little sad. Um, it's a little sad due to the fact that, as you guys can see from the title above, I destroyed the Rocky Bunny kit. Um, for those of you that do not know or are new to the channel, um, I own a 2015 Static FRS. If you do not know what static means, static means that your car, vehicle, whatever, is on coilovers. Your suspension is on coilovers. Um, unfortunately, me and Adrian were driving on the freeway and I hit a pothole. I tried dodging something else. I hit a pothole and it recoiled right back into the fender flare. And yeah, that's what we're doing today is repairing that. Um, as you guys can see, we are in the LS bow hunted. So we're going to start working on that here soon. And it's going to be a special video because we are going to do a collab. We're going to see how that goes. I'm not going to say who it is until we get there, but let's go ahead and wait and stay tuned. As you guys already know, if you did not watch the last video when I rebuilt the LS400, um, we copped a subscriber PO box. So, if you guys have any spare parts, you're starting your own brand, you're doing anything like that, go ahead and send it to us. I will leave all the information in the description below. You guys don't understand, this LS400 with the sunroof, I, I dig it, I, I, I love it. We got a Cabrillo with a soft top or drop top, soft top drop top we got the sunroof and then the frs is just just ridiculous and unpractical so all the builds are pretty cool we have unlimited content for you guys and i'm hella pumped i've been banging out two three videos a week and i'm pretty pretty pumped about that um we have another huge announcement like i said the boys and i have a huge announcement within the next week or so um it's gonna be pretty big. We're gonna go travel somewhere, go check something out. So once we announce that, you guys will see, and if you guys are in the area where we're going to, let's link up, hang out, chill, vibe, you know. All right guys, I cannot wait anymore. I'm just gonna reveal who we're collabing with today. Um, his name is Esteban, and his soon-to-be wife is Yasmin. Um, they're really, really good friends of mine. Um, Esteban hit me over, hit me up over the week to see if I could help him do some Bondo and fiberglass work. I've never done work with like that before, but the whole point of the channel is willing to learn. So I destroyed the kit and needed fiberglass and Bondo work. So I figured I'll bring that over. We can help each other out and learn. So his Instagram name right here, boom, 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 um, is that dirty Z underscore that dirty Z, and then his YouTube, which I will leave a link in the description below, is um, Dirty Build Media. So if you guys haven't already, go follow and subscribe to him, and I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, this is gonna be it for driving and vlogging. I will see you guys at their house. All right, so we should be pulling up to his house right now. Um, like I said, I've known Esteban for a couple years now, and he does not know what kind of car I copped. So I'm trying to see if I can catch his reaction, but I'm looking for his house. He has a custom 350, and then he has his wife's 280. Kind of gets his camera at his house. Hey, hey, don't judge me. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Did you see the new whip? Did you see the new whip? Is that it? Lexus LS400. Nice, you got my support? VIP. What are you going to do? I may even go bagged. On that? I might. I don't know, I might. I don't know. It'd be different. Something. Alright, so let's check it out. Custom 350. His wife's 280? Or yours wife's? Uh, yeah, she's going to be the one driving it along Or is it both? It's both, but she, I'm letting her take the reins on deciding... What to do and how to build? All our colors, all that stuff. I'm just the one doing the build itself. Down, down, down. Hell yeah. Oh, you've already been doing mad work to it. Yeah, both these sides are already done. Oh, so nice. And we just uh, have to lay the fiberglass over, but I do want to start the fiberglass with you first, just because I want to make sure that we have enough. Cool, so we'll let's do it. Well. Ball in. We got the Bondo, because he said he needed a Bondo and I'll help him with that. And then we have the destroyed kit. <laughs> Rip in the chat boys. Go ahead and leave a rip in the comment down below because we need a rip in the chat. 
<laughs> Why? All right, so we're gonna start on the Rocky Bunny kit. This is the V2 rear. Um, as you guys can see, that's where the lip from the wheel hit right there and destroyed it. Um, it's that one's gonna actually explain to you guys what we're gonna do, just because I don't know what we're doing. Alrighty guys, so we got multiple things here. Go ahead and slip as a here. So we got hard glass resin. Um, we do have a couple of uh, squishies, I believe, um, to go ahead and mess, you know, make sure that it all lays down evenly. You do need masks um, on my channel. I haven't practiced safety as much as I need to, so on Zay's channel, make sure you're practicing No, bro, I, of course I want to breathe in fiberglass. No, I'm just kidding, don't, no, no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. The entire time I did that, <laughs> wear masks and it's a good thing that I didn't get fiberglass in my lungs. Um, so we really want to make sure we're wearing, um, wearing masks. But we got the resin in here, there's hardener, um, and then the fiberglass mat itself. Oh, but we got some Bondo, Bondo and fiberglass in there? Yeah. Done deal. So this, if you guys haven't worked with fiberglass, and I actually do have enough for us today, but um, this is what a normal fiberglass mat looks like. There are two different types, but when you're working with cars and bodywork and stuff, this is what you're gonna wanna use. So we'll go ahead and show you the process on how you use this stuff to go ahead and start making repairs and stuff like this. Tie. Flip this over. Yoi. Actually from the back, it does not look that yeah, bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Um, also, really quickly, before you guys work with this, a couple things you need to know. Fiberglass gets in your skin super easy, so try keeping skin contact with it as, like, minimal as possible if you do get it in it when you're finished wash with cold water never wash with warm water i apologize about my son's car in the background but um, <laughs> wash it with cold water not warm water you know make sure that it gets off because the stuff will get in your skin it does itch and irritates and stuff like that so don't do that and again the masks for um you know not breathing it in glasses to make sure it doesn't get in your cool face. for sure that works what are you doing stop, stop? what's your name stop. stop you don't know your name what kind of car you got here Okay, we need to put this about five inches on the floor, and then we need some camber, Brahms. We got plants for it? Let's build a mini no, one. I need a Dude, window. You, you need a window? <laughs> I'm Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put a wang. A wang about this high. This? Yes. Yes, a wang on that. So, right here we have the resin and a container you actually don't need as much as you really think you do. Um, he's gonna actually break it down for us right now. Yeah, so it all depends on the size of what you're doing. Because we're doing something small, you don't wanna to put too much because it gets kind of difficult when you're putting the hardener. You wanna make sure that you have enough resin that once you put the hardener, it's gonna react and it's not gonna take years to dry or, you know, if you have too much resin and not enough hardener, it won't dry at all. So we are gonna go ahead, you just need to poke a little hole in this real quick. Oh, the hole. Oh. Small little hole, and then we'll go ahead and add, and you don't want much, so. Oh, and what is that? The hardener. Oh, hardener? So before, oh, okay. you act, uh, before you put this in, this is gonna like stay the same. It's gonna, it's not gonna change the way that it fills or anything like that. Once you add the hardener is once it starts changing. It's oh, so the hardener adds the effect. So if you left Correct. this out, it's not gonna dry or anything crazy like that. Correct. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So, and then what you're also wanting is a little bit of cardboard or something. Um, generally, I use cardboard because, I mean, it's easy. The stuff doesn't really, you know, it doesn't matter if it's stuck to it or not. Go ahead and use that to twist that up. This somewhere it's not gonna affect us right. like that yeah there you go all right and now what you're gonna want to do is just basically lay it in there so just fill that little piece with fiberglass I have go zero ahead and, you're fine go ahead and turn it I'm around going. like crimp it up some and put it in there just like make this? yeah just make sure you fill up the whole thing okay well, I don't know what I'm doing it's all good it's a learning process Okay, this is doused, so okay, just perfect. spread it, or what am I doing? Yeah, so what you're gonna do is go ahead and lay this over that in here. We'll go ahead and... Move that there? Yeah. Okay, and I'll just lay that over there. Oh, shoot. And that was my fault, I should've put something there. <laughs> you're straight. We'll clean it. Yeah, and then just go ahead and flatten out all the sides of it that you got. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Can you try that? Yeah. All right guys, so what we're doing now is laying the fiberglass. I did show him the process. Um, so basically, for those of you that don't know, you are going to want to grab uh, some of the fiberglass, just you know, a small amount if you're not filling up a huge space, and then just pat it down inside the fiberglass until it gets full, until um, it's pretty much covered, and then you lay it down and just lay it as flat as you can. This is a prime example of why I have no idea or what I'm doing. But right now, we just laid 
two layers of fiberglass on there. I, as you guys can see, I don't know what I'm doing. But we put it in the resin and the hardener. We mixed it up with the cardboard. We put another piece of cardboard down just so we don't spill it because this stuff is gonna harden and get real sticky. Um, but we have, like I said, we have two layers here. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then work on some other things and go from there. So we are gonna let the resin dry. Uh, we're gonna currently work on his 280 right now, or yeah, this is 280. We're gonna work on that. Um, when did you apply the expanding foam? Uh, a couple days ago, but it dries, that dries within an hour and a half. Cool, so the expanding foam is pretty new. It happened this week. So we're gonna be putting on fiberglass on that and then going from there. So we still have our favorite little actor. Then we have Yaz. Let's welcome Yaz to the channel. All right, so right now what we're doing is, like I said earlier, he had put expanding foam on this car. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so we put expanding foam on the 280 and now right now what we're doing is yep that's exactly what we're doing so we are doing the same thing what we just did over there with the rocky bunny kid this is expanding foam and he's gonna put the fiberglass on the expanding foam we're gonna do a thin thin layer because the piece he had here originally stuck out farther than he wanted so the thinner the layer we can put let it dry and then put the bond over it's gonna leave a smooth surface that's exactly what we're going for Ta-da! That's exactly what we're going for. So, let's see how this works out. But as of right now, this is the layer we have going. Leave me alone, bro. Maybe, maybe I don't know how to name all my cars. That's, then you get people to help you. But you need to name them. <laughs> I guess I need to get on a personal level. But Kali, okay, Kali the Destroyer, Aphrodite the Goddess of Love, Pat the Pathfinder, Pat the Pathfinder, and we got Shuri the Volkswagen GTI. Every, even my daily has a name. You need wow. a name. Wow, you have four names. We thought of some names for him, guys, but leave some comments <laughs> for him to go ahead and name his cars. All right, he all right. We'll, we'll get into that later. So he's applying the hardener, he's mixing it all up, and then what you're going to do is we're just going to put the fiberglass, like we did earlier, in the container and then apply, crimp it up, apply, and go from there. So right now what he's doing is just really making sure he gets in there, squishing it up, and then because once it's done, you can spread it apart. You, so we're just literally making sure that all this gets all over the fiberglass. So right now what I did was I just added another piece of fiberglass to the hole just to make it a little bit thicker. Um, when it dries, what we can do is just use 80 grit sandpaper, sand it down, and go from there. But I'd rather be safe in the sorry that fill the hole and have it work out better than just putting little layers of fiberglass in there. <laughs> Um, with that side, what we did was we put the fiberglass in like, cr uh, not crunches, but like clumps. We put it in clumps in the container, spread it out, make sure that the fiberglass was, I mean the resin was really thorough in the fiberglass. But this side, what I want to do is, is we don't have a paper spread, we do have a squeegee. So maybe get the squeegee and apply it as a glue and then stick the fiberglass on all the way through and then do some layers and try that out. Here. This was a different attempt. We put the resin against the expanding foam, applied the fiberglass, and then did an outer layer. I definitely feel like this covered a lot more ground than our first attempt over there, but this is kind of harder because the fiberglass gets stuck to the squeegee. So I'm definitely gonna do some more research, but I definitely like how this is going. But like I said, you guys can go ahead and throw the heat on, but if you guys have any comments or suggestions on how to do this better. Mm. Mm. So good. Who shot your stomach for a pizza? <laughs> So right now what we're using is 60 grit. The reason we're using 60 is because it's so tough and we're breaking down most of the bulk of the fiberglass, the dried fiberglass. Um, once we get closer to the, uh, 
actual flare itself over here, the part that's not damaged, we're gonna use 120. 120 is a bit softer, so we don't wanna go ahead and take down as much as we really need to. But for right now, we're just trying to get this smoother and kind of go from there. <laughs> So I think this is a good stopping point if you remember the hole in the beginning of the video It was fairly big, but as you can see we're getting somewhere So this is a good stopping point. I'll probably continue this in the next vlog, but Huge huge difference. All right guys, so we are coming to a good stopping point the uh, 280ZX is currently drying the fiberglass and the resin that we applied is wet and it's gonna need to take some time before we add any other layers. On my end, the fender flare is currently at a good stopping point. I used the 320 grit and the 60 grit. The 60 grit was for the tougher 320 to soften some areas up. But, huge shout out to Esteban for showing me how to work with um, fiberglass, uh, bring apart, uh, fiberglass, and we didn't get to bond tonight, but that's okay. Is there anything you wanna say? Um, no other than, hopefully you guys don't roast us too bad. I'm not a professional. <laughs> You know, obviously, Zay isn't his first time, but he did a great job. I love being around this guy. I know you guys love him just as much as I do, so stick with him. Great things to come from the channel. Don't listen to him and all that nonsense, but if you haven't already, his Instagram's right here. It's going to be at underscore that, Dirty Z, and I will leave a link to his a link to his channel in the description below. But huge shout out to him, and as always in every video, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always make a difference.